Welcome back. Let's roll right along through this Monday afternoon. I'm Nadine Blaney from Ausbiz and we've got NetCentric here. It is a pioneering and established provider of social media influencer marketing solutions. The company provides its diverse client base of leading brands with results focused growth strategies backed by end to end expertise. It spans influencer marketing, social media marketing, performance marketing, video and content creation and social commerce. NetCentric launched Nafeng Live Commerce in 2020. It's a platform which turns the engagement between social media influencers and their followers into revenue and sales. So we've got the exec chair here with us, but my reminder that if you'd like to ask questions through this presentation, you can do so by clicking the button, the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen, and we'll get to them at the end of this presentation. But we've got executive chairman of NetCentric Ganesh Kumar Banga here with us. Over to you. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to be here on a Monday afternoon. Um, so today I'll be presenting about NetCentric Limited Ages pioneering digital growth ecosystem. Just to get, give you a bit of a background of the company, we are a pioneering established provider of social media influencer marketing solutions, and we're rapidly commercializing an innovative social commerce platform. We have end-to-end -end expertise across influencer marketing, social media marketing, performance marketing, video content creation, and social commerce. We use data and insights to grow our diversified revenue streams by empowering communities with innovative digital platforms. Over the last 13 years, we've actually got more than 300 clients with a network of 15,000 influencers across four offices with 95 employees in Malaysia, Singapore, and Taiwan. We were profitable and EBITDA positive, as well as operational cash flow positive last year with a growing core business. We provide our diverse client base with results-focused growth strategies, leveraging on influencers. Just a bit of a corporate snapshot. We did $7.9 million of revenue last year and have a healthy cash balance of $5.9 million. I acquired a majority stake in this company early last year as I saw a potential opportunity with the growth of influencer marketing and social media across Southeast Asia, which is one of the fastest growing internet regions in the world. We have an experienced board of directors. Uh, I'm the executive chairman of the company. I actually founded my first uh, internet business when I was 20 years old in the year 2000. It was an online payments company called ML Global, which I subsequently listed on the NASDAQ. I was the Ernst and Young Technology Entrepreneur of the Year uh, in Malaysia in 2012, and also former chairman of the Tech Association of Malaysia. With me on the board of directors is Joanne Poo, who's the chairman of our audit committee. Robert Sultan, who I brought in late last year to help us on corporate governance. He's actually a retired partner of Northern Rose. And Darren Cooper, who's a professional board member who helps us in terms of investor relations uh, in Australia. We have actually a very um, experienced management team as well uh, with proven track record. Uh, Joanne Chen, our Chief Operating Officer, she's one of the veterans when it comes to digital uh, in Malaysia. She's formerly from Group M. She built the digital unit of Group M. And Jin Chams, our CFO, who's been with us uh, from the beginning, and actually helped us uh, through the IPO. And Daniel Wong, our CTO, who was brought in late last year who actually worked with me in MOL as well, who's helping build the technology platforms that actually help empower the businesses within the group. We have a diverse range of blue chip customers that we've attracted and retained over the last 14 years. These include Unilever, PNG, Johnson & Johnson, even KFC that work with us uh, to execute their influencer marketing campaigns. We also work with all the major and large agencies uh, in Malaysia and the region, such as uh, OMG, um, Group M, and even IPG, and help execute the influencer marketing cap their influencer marketing programs and help them reach out uh, to influencers in Southeast Asia. To give you a bit of an overview uh, of the different businesses within the group, we have. We have an end-to-end -end ecosystem of growth solutions that help our clients from awareness, generating awareness via channels such as Facebook, 
right down to revenue. A new product that we recently launched, Live Commerce, actually helps our clients actually generate revenue through you by leveraging our influencers selling on Facebook. Our core product, Nafnang, is a social influencer and content marketing platform that generates us 58% of our revenue and is one of the fastest growing businesses within uh, our ecosystem as well. We help our clients from understanding their business needs right down to optimizing their traffic to increase revenue and sales. We have a comprehensive platform to serve a large market. The global influencer marketing market is actually expected to grow from 6 billion in 2020 to 24 billion by 2025 at a Kegel growth rate of 32%. Influencer marketing is one of the fastest growing areas within digital marketing, not only in the Asia Pac region where it's expected to lead uh, the world, but also across the whole world. And this is because the large platforms such as Facebook and Instagram are actually becoming more expensive to advertise directly on. And because of that, brands are starting to look at influencers as an alternate and more cost-effective and efficient channel to reach consumers on these social media platforms. Our end-to-end -end platform actually helps influ influencers from executing their branded campaigns to actually selling products via live commerce, essentially selling products via Facebook Live, to even helps them with creating their own merchandise store so influencers can actually create their own merchandises and sell them on Facebook and also on other platforms. And we earn sh a share from the sales of this merchandise as well. We also have media to actually promote these influencers. Um, we have an academy to train influencers and we also help influencers uh, create social impact through CSR initiatives. Nafteng, our core product is the influencer platform. We connect brands to more than 15,000 influencers, key opinion leaders, celebrities, and content creators who collectively actually reach more than 20 million social media followers across Southeast Asia. We provide these brands with solutions, including influencer engagement. We help them get influencers to promote for them. These influencers become the ambassadors and also become the brand advocates as well. Our competitive advantages we experience and establish, we are by far the pioneers in this field in Southeast Asia. We've launched thousands of campaigns and this gives us deeper insights through the relationships we have in, with the influencers, as well as the data that, that we've collected over the years actually helps us Link the brands, link brands to the right influencers. We have the largest market share in this business in our core market, and we use ideas to actually provide efficient and cost-effective solutions to provide efficient and cost-effective solutions to our clients. Our newest product, Nafeng Live Commerce, actually takes our product line from just marketing to actually helping to generate revenue and sales for brands and our, our diverse client base. Nafteng Live Pro is a technology platform that we developed to essentially allow influencers to sell products on Facebook Live with back-end automation that handles both payment and fulfillment. This is a SaaS platform which we provide on a premium basis and we earn from transactions as well as subscriptions that we'll, we'll actually start charging for in quarter four of this year. Nafdeng Live Business actually links businesses and enables them to sell over Facebook combined with influencers. So essentially, if you're a business and you want to sell your products via Facebook Live, you can come to us. We provide you the influencers. We also provide you the technology platform in a one-stop solution to enable you to sell your products over Facebook and Facebook Live. Now, Tang Live Enterprise is, is the third, uh, third, I would say, product under Nafeng Live Commerce, where we have large enterprises actually enable or digitally enable their live commerce sales. So, for example, we're actively engaging with TV shopping operators uh, here in Malaysia. These TV shop, shopping operators have historically actually been selling 
over TV, over free to air or even pay TV. And they actually want to now sell over Facebook Live as well. And what we are doing is we're providing them the technology platform that enables them to, 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 to basically bring their video content from TV to Facebook and other social media platforms as well. This is a new era of e-commerce. We call it entertainment entertainers. In the historical e-commerce, which is marketplace, marketplace commerce, essentially Amazon and eBay have been around for 15 years. Marketplace commerce is where users know what they want and actually go to the marketplace and buy the product. Whereas in entertainment, you may not know what you want, but you've got a lot of free time and you spend your time in social media, just like walking in a mall. And you don't know what you want to buy, but as you look at your, as you look at these influencers which you follow and they're selling a particular product that you may want, you then get incentivized to start buying that product via our platform. We have developed an integrated and seamless end-to-end -end live commerce uh, experience for our consumers. So consumers essentially can come to Facebook with API integrated to Facebook look at the products you want to buy, interact with the influencers. Uh, when you want to purchase, a purchase code is flashed. Essentially, most people will press plus one if they want to buy one unit of product or type plus two if they want two units of a product. As they key that in, we immediately send a link to them which enables them to pay. And once they have paid, the buyer can essentially complete the purchase via online banking. Merchant then receives a notification that the, pro that the payment has been made and the merchant can then deliver the product or we have a back-end partner warehouse which actually picks packs and delivers the products to the consumer. Live commerce is actually a huge industry. It generated actually Aussie $20 billion in transactions over Taobao in 20, 2018 and in 2019 alone, in one day, generated 20 billion RMB is one of the fastest growing areas within e-commerce. The progress we've achieved over the last uh, year, year and a half uh, of launching this product, uh, we've completed integration uh, for Nothing Life Pro to Shopify, essentially enabling Shopify merchants to sell their products via Nothing Life uh, and through that to Facebook Live. Uh, we ran successful campaigns from, for brands, including uh, Nivea, where we actually launched a live commerce session for Nivea together with our influencers and handled that whole process end-to-end. -end. We also have a strategic enterprise partnership with eShop Live, which is actually one of the biggest live commerce operators on Facebook here in Malaysia. And we, we actually have signed a strategic partnership with them where we've made an investment into them and they exclusively use both our technology platform, our fulfillment capability, as well as our payment capability as well. Uh, rounding out our end-to-end -end marketing platform is our full-service digital agency, Sashimi, which provides clients such as Huawei with end-to-end -end digital marketing capabilities, as well as Plata and Punta, an e-commerce-centric performance marketing platform that enables brands to effectively sell their products and help them in increasing their sales. Some of the case studies are Milo, a FMCG brand that's quite popular here in Malaysia. Their voice was under threat as retail here uh, was closed during the first lockdown. And so they approached us to actually help them sell or increase their sales and have mind share or increase their mind share over social media. Oh, and we actually help them reach a total audience of 2 million um, during the first lockdown. And uh, that's 10% of Malaysia's audience. So we actually help them reach 10% of Malaysia's audience uh, with a very high engagement rate uh, of 500% of people that actually save and share uh, their actions on Facebook. Plata and Punta actually engaged with the Malaysian bedding brand uh, again uh, last year as well. And we actually helped this bedding brand grow 
more than 10 times within six months. In fact, today, this bedding brand has grown about 30 times over the last uh, one and a half years, leveraging on Plata and Punta's performing, performance marketing capability and platform. Um, we've been growing uh, over the last year. Um, our quarter one revenue was $2.4 million. We actually grew 42% year on year from the quarter one of last year. And our gross profits grew more than 30%. As influencer marketing continues to grow uh, in this region, we expect the momentum of revenue growth to continue throughout uh, the year as well. Uh, traditionally, the second half of the year has always been more positive than the first half of the year. So we expect our revenue momentum, revenue growth momentum to continue this year as well. In terms of strategic outlook, um, we operate in a very fast growing uh, market. And there are a few new growth drivers that we see that will allow us to further accelerate the growth that we've been experiencing over the last year or so. The first is our continued expansion into social commerce. The Asia Pacific social commerce industry is expected to reach 2 trillion, is, is, has reached actually 2 trillion in 2019 and it's, it's expected to double by 2024. We are well placed in this region, Southeast Asia, to actually grow with the growth of social commerce. And that's why you've seen that our revenue has been growing over the last year or so. Scalability through automation, as I mentioned earlier, I brought in a CTO to help develop the technology platforms to further enable the businesses within the group. Um, so this automation that recently started rolling out with clients such as Dutch Lady will actually enable us to scale, not just from hand handling big brands, but also handling smaller SMEs as well. Which is also proof, which is also, uh, which is also, which, which is also driven by the fact that we've integrated uh, to Shopify. We also see growth uh, through potential acquisitions. We're exploring uh, multiple uh, potential m &A opportunities. Um, we see an opportunity now uh, to flatten the Southeast Asian region when it comes to influencer marketing. Southeast Asia has a population of six hundred million users, we are one of the biggest, if not the biggest influencer marketing platform in the region. We now see an opportunity similarly to acquire companies with platforms similar to platforms like us across the region in markets like Philippines and Thailand and also um, Indonesia as well. So we see that as another growth driver for our business as we grow with the growth of the internet in Southeast Asia and the growth of um, influencer marketing, both globally and regionally. Some of, invest, some of our investment highlights, we are profitable and growing. Um, we operate within a fast growing industry, cash flow self-sufficient with comfortable cash reserves. We have a complete business growth ecosystem providing end-to-end -end solutions to our clients from go to market right down to revenue. We have a first mover advantage and barriers of entry, which is secured through our large social media influencer community here in Asia. We are trusted by established brands and agencies, are recognized by the media and industry, led uh, by an, a visionary entrepreneur such as mine, su such as myself, are supported by an experienced board and management team with a proven track record. Our new investments into automation and social commerce offer the potential for us to also deliver very scalable growth as our region and influencer marketing in our region grows. Um, grows. I'd like to finish this by saying that Southeast Asia with a population of 600 million is actually one of the fastest growing economies uh, in the world. And us operating within influencer marketing and the internet is actually operating in one of the fastest growing industries within one of the fastest growing economies 
in the world. And this is an opportunity that I saw when I acquired this business. And this is also an opportunity that I believe I would like to share with all of you here today. Uh, thank you. That's all my presentation uh, for, for, for today. Any questions? Yeah, well, there have been a few questions come in, Ganesh. So sure. I will start those off. What is it that would lead an, an influencer or a brand to choose Netcentric over competitors? Sure. Okay. So in terms of what would help, so there are two questions there, right? What would help a brand choose us as compared to our competitors? First of all is the capability that we built over the last few years to actually deliver results. Getting and engaging influencers is not just about reaching out to the influencer and asking them to promote your brand. What is required is actually reaching the right influencer that allows you to deliver the results that you need. It's about picking the right influencer based on their customer base, based on the results that they have done in promoting similar brands as well. You can't just choose, for example, you can't choose a guy to promote a beauty brand, right? You need to choose somebody, a, a, a pretty lady like yourself to promote uh, a beauty brand, for example, right? So what we do is we have a data, our database of influencers, reach to influencers and experience of executing campaigns over the last 13 years actually enable us to give the most effective results to our clients. That's for brands, right? Now, when it comes to influencers, we actually help influencers earn a living. And working with us, we actually generate them income, not just by linking them to brands or giving them campaigns, but as I showed earlier, the end-to-end the -end ecosystem platform, we help them create merchandises. We also help them, uh, we also help them sell products on live commerce. So we give them diversified revenue streams all in one stop. An influencer can come to us, log on to our platform, see the different job opportunities they have, see different opportunities that they can leverage on to make money for themselves, especially in the current uh, new normal where you know we are in lockdown every other month. Um, so they can actually log in and actually look at opportunities for them to earn a living right from uh, the comfort of their home. This is an interesting question that's come in, I think. It said, you mentioned adding access to many digital wallets to make the process simpler and more efficient for buyers on the yeah. live commerce platform. Have you, or will you be looking into the crypto space as part of this? I'm not referring to Dogecoin or any other altcoins as such. More so, is there a potential to investigate the use of digital currency and integrate it into the platform? given Twitter, Facebook, and now Amazon are also looking at moving resources into that area. Yes, it's definitely a potential as cryptocurrencies become more prevalent and people will want to buy the products that, that, we, that we actually represent. Again, we, we represent large brands. So they would need to be able, or they would want to accept those cryptocurrencies uh, for us to accept them, but it's definitely an opportunity that we see Another opportunity within the blockchain space that we also see is NFTs. Right? So if you look at NFTs, uh, NFT and influencers is actually a very good match, I would say. So there's see opportunities for influencers to actually sell their own NFTs <laughs> as well. And this is something that we may look at in the future as, uh, as NFTs become a bit more established uh, in the region. Okay. Um do you plan to develop your platform further to add new functionality or is it now fully featured to deliver your growth strategy? I think, I think my sense is that you're, you're constantly looking to evolve. Yes, look, um, it, it, this business is about constant, constantly evolve, right? So we have a tech team, we have a CTO and a tech team and we constantly work on actually improving the technology platform that we develop. We constantly integrate into more platforms. As I mentioned earlier, we integrated into Facebook and Shopify. As Facebook APIs for live commerce extends to Instagram, we'll also look at that. And uh, as more mobile wallets and more different methods of payment mechanisms come in, as you rightly mentioned, cryptocurrencies, as they become more prevalent, 
and our clients ask for them, we would enable this type of new integrations that would then also increase the opportunities for us to earn revenue. And do you expect to generate meaningful revenue by facilitating payments as well as marketing campaigns? Um, so I would say payment is an enabler to our business. Right, so there, there will be an opportunity for payments to enable. You know, there's this saying that every company will be a fintech company. Similar to us, we essentially sit in between brands and influencers, right? So payments will be able to basically, I would say, enable that whole process, and all our revenue would actually over time be basically enabled by payments. Now, you mentioned acquisitions. Uh... Could you flesh that out a little bit more? So where would these sort of bolt-on acquisitions be? What would they likely be? Or would you potentially look for some sort of a transformational acquisition in the future? Sure, I think we operate within a transformational industry as it is. Um, so what the type of acquisitions we're looking at basically are acquisitions that could leverage or will help us extend our influencer reach. So that's the first thing. So that could extend our 15,000 influencers, for example, to 50,000 influencers from our current three countries to six countries, if that makes sense, right? So that could increase our reach of influencers so that when we go to brands, we not only provide them three countries, but six countries. This would actually help us in terms of both increasing our revenue, increasing our reach, and also increasing our revenue per customer, right? So that's one in terms of reach. The second is, of course, one that leverages on our influencers to actually earn more revenue, right? So for example, I mentioned influencer merchandising. There could be opportunities around those angles as well, around that space to actually also help us kind of leverage or allow us to earn a maximum more or maximize the revenue that we can earn from our influencers. And when it comes to culture across the Southeast Asian region, I mean, there are a lot of nuances when it comes to culture. Do you find that it is, um, that it's an, you know, it's an interesting process in learning all the different nuances of these cultures and meeting and, and connecting with the influencers and brands there? I mean, is that why you're so integral to the different brands in those regions? Because you've got people who are actually living and breathing the local culture? Yes, I think um, I've actually, this is not the first business I've built that is regional. My previous business, I also grew it from just Malaysia to across the region. We actually operated in 14 different countries across Southeast Asia and the Middle East and, uh, and uh, even, uh, even uh, South America. And so as we look at digital businesses, in particular digital businesses that have a strong relationship need, need for relationship, I think culture definitely comes in. And this is why we're also exploring um, M&A opportunities to actually acquire businesses similar to us that will help us extend the reach across the region. And this will help us in two prongs. One, increase our revenue. And two, actually help us provide a more complete regional solution to our brands as well. Where is the next country that you would like to put the most focus on in the region? I think um, we would like to focus first on the English speaking countries. So for example, Malaysia, Singapore, Th uh, Philippines are English speaking. So that would be our first focus uh, because English speaking clients tend to also like the English speaking brands, right? Or, or English focused brands. And then after that, we market such as Indonesia, which is huge markets, 200 million population, for example. And, and then those markets as well followed by Thailand. Mm -hmm. any, any ambitious to go to India? Not at this point. I think Southeast Asia alone uh, is actually <laughs> yeah. uh, big enough. It's 600 million population, right? 30 times the size of Australia or 20 to 30 times the size of Australia, right? So I think that will keep us busy um, for quite some time. Um, so our focus first is in this region. However, if opportunity opportunities come out uh, in places like India, I wouldn't say no to exploring these opportunities, but we want to be razor focused to grow with the growth of the digital economy in Southeast Asia. 
Good. All right. Well, we're out of time. Thank you so much for joining us today and for the presentation, Ganesh Kumar Banga from NetCentric. Appreciate it. Thank you.